everyone, this is Debbie from Project 39 Mini Albums. I'm trying to get that shadow out of here. And this is the 2023 Crafty Goal Collab. This is a monthly video that you're going to see with other people in the collab. And it is to hold us accountable for our crafty goals. So check out all of these wonderful people. They'll be listed in the description box. Before I get any further, I want to show you the fabulous pen that my friend Sheila made for me. They're all teeny tiny little beads. Isn't that amazing? And it writes beautifully too, which is even better. So anyhow, let's talk about crafty goals. So I've set goals in the beginning of the year and what I did is set three quarterly goals. I'm sorry, three annual goals and then a couple of quarterly goals. So the annual goals are use my stash, uh, effective social media and beat last year. The effect of social media is to post, to make videos, and that kind of thing. And Beat Last Year is for my Etsy shop. I do try to sell things in my Etsy shop that I have made. And I want it to be a business, so I want to make sure that I do work on uh, keeping the business up and not just let it go stagnant. Um, some goals I have for this quarter are a spring refresh. And what I want to do is update my SEO on my Etsy site. And my other goal is to explore. And I sort of left that sort of loose. Um, I want to, I paint and I have not been painting very much and I want to paint some more and just explore it as an art form. But also I left it as explore because I also uh, like to get out and hike. And um, that's part of the explore. So those are my goals. Let me grab my planner and talk about how I've done for the month. So here's what I wrote for April. And these are the things that I wanted to accomplish. I wanted to finish a Woof SVG. So um, you may remember one of my videos. I made uh, another Woof album using... A different paper collection and this one I used the graphic 45 uh, paper collection and um, I wanted to put the SVG on my website so where it stands now is I send it out to a couple of people to try and they will get back to me with the results and how it came out just want to make sure it's a good product before I let it loose into the world but anyhow so that is that um, so I finished that. I haven't finished the trial of the SVG, but I finished the book. Um, I also had a paper collection called A Birthday Wish, and that came from Country Craft Creations, and I needed to do an album, and I finished that. I wanted to finish a project using Not Too Shabby Beautiful Wings, and I finished that. I wanted to make birthday cards uh, with the leftover paper from A Birthday Wish. And I did. I'll show you the cards in a little bit. Um, I wanted to practice making dangles to hang on books. Um, it's just something I want to learn. So I, my friend Sheila, who made this, does jewelry. And she showed me how to do it. So I've been practicing. I don't have one completed. But I'm getting there. So I won't check that off. And brush took flower. I wrote that down and I came back to it. And I was like, what the heck did I mean by that? And now I remember it is a uh, Tim Holtz um, die, and it's all different flowers, and I wanted to play with it, and I have not. So I will move both of those to May. So anyhow, here is whether or not I used my stash. So I did use what I had planned. I used... This is the fun part, to show you all that I used, because I feel like... This is where I um, have satisfaction. So I finished up the Blooms of Spring. I used all of the paper. You may have seen the video. This is to put seed packets in. And so it's just a um, sort of an accordion album to put seed packets in. So that is on my site. And I think it's on Night to Shabby site also. Um, so I used that. Um... I used this when I was making my planner and I wanted to finish up all the paper. So I did 
um, and made a couple of traveler's notebook journals. So I just love this paper and I was thinking I should I put something on here and I decided not to just because the paper by itself is pretty. Yeah, I know that um, glare is not good, but here, so there's a folder there and then the first section has lined paper, section, second section has blank paper and then the third section is back to lined paper. So I made a couple of those to put in my Etsy shop or sell um, if it's something you want. Wait, that goes like this. If it goes like this, then the writing is right side up on here. And yeah, live your story is one and full of wonder is the other. And then there's still some paper left over. So I just made these quick little um, mini composition notebook holders and it's got a little uh, bookmark in it. But I made a couple of those. So that is the leftover paper. So I am all done with this one. I can say that's done. Um, this and I had 12 by 12 singles and I got this in a mystery box, a mystery warehouse box from Country Craft Creations a month or so ago. They'll do it twice a year, maybe. So look for another one, I think, in January. Um, and it came with this Come One, Come All collection, which obviously doesn't match the well-groomed, except for the colors were perfect. So there were uh, coordinating solids that matched with this collection, and that worked fabulous for the woof. See here, this is from the Come One, Come All but it matches. I think that was also, I don't remember for sure. The red was, so it gave me some um, plain card stock. So, you know, it worked well. So I finished that and I finished a whole bunch of 12 by 12 sheets that came with this. Now I will keep the packaging because I will use that in little books. So that is that. So I did use things I had planned. Um, effective social media. I want to make sure I respond to everyone. There's one person I haven't, just for different reasons, but I've gotten back to everyone within a few days. And by while I'm talking about it, on my YouTube, I have 4,941 subscribers. If you would like to become one of those subscribers, it will help me reach 5,000. That's just a great number to hit. 5,000 people that like my creativity. That says, that's fabulous to me. Um, beat last year, so my Etsy shop, I just look up my numbers and check. My orders are down 40%, my revenue is down 42%, but my visits are up 7%. And I can tell you a lot of that is because I'm not posting on Pinterest and Instagram all the time like I used to be. Um, I just sort of took a break from social media and I need to get back to it. And then also because I don't have new items, I put maybe one item on the website last month. And when you put new items on Etsy, it helps the algorithm. And I haven't done that, so I need to get back to creating to do that. All right, so goal number one, as far as my quarterly goals, update my SEO. Um, I've researched, so I know what I need to do, pretty much. Now I need to do it. And then explore art. I, I want to paint. I've got... Um, some pictures I want to paint, so I just need to get out the paint and do it. Um, here's where I show uh, the papers that I've used. Um, that's well-groomed, well-groomed, that paisley from this. Uh, I completely finished the Blooms of Spring, although I realized I put that in for last month that I finished. But anyhow, the Come One, Come All, A Birthday Wish, and I also finished a paper collection that I also got in the mystery box. Um, let me show you real quick. It was a crafty, and I threw out the cover sheet, so I don't even remember if it was Echo Park. Somebody might remember this, and I just made some cards. I was visiting a friend in Tennessee, and she makes cards, and um, she shared some ideas, and so I used the paper. I didn't use most of the crafty paper I just used like the flowers here that card goes like that that one I used one of the stickers that came with it 
this is a spanner cord that goes like that that goes like that and there's more of that i just had fun with that design and i played around with my friend sheila's uh dies and i used that i mean that's a fun card right uh i had a birthday cake die so i added that to it and then there is uh so what if you're a year older you're fabulous so i did that that same on that and then these were um from the not too shabby paper i just used up all of what was left of it and made some cards i will probably send these in how does this one open out oh, just like that um to cards for kindness um, or another group. I'm not sure who I'm going to send it to, but I have those cards. Oh, that's more of the birthday. And then here are the, I'm not going to go through all of these, but here are the other birthday cards that I made using the A Birthday Wish. And the fabulous thing about this paper pad is I think it's, it's really meant to make cards because there's a lot of great sentiments. I mean, look at that. You don't have to stamp. You don't have to do anything. You can just uh, put it together and be creative. And then I guess other cards I can't show you because it's from the Not Too Shabby. And that video is coming out later today. So uh, it is part of a hop. So don't forget to check back later today and check out what I made. And uh, you can register to, um, to win a gift card from Not Too Shabby. So ideas for next month, um, I feel like I need to loosen up. So I'm going to make some journals and try to have it not as precise as my mini albums. And I usually sell campers logbooks and I need to work on making some more. I don't have any to sell and they usually are um, a good seller for me. And these are just the projects for this month, uh, some of the not too shabby paper pads. And then I also want to work on this paper pad. I will take it out. This is from Country Craft Creations. It is called Old American. It is obviously a patriotic themed. I've made other projects with this paper, but I thought this would be fun to play with and where I said I want to loosen up, make some kind of journal with this. Um, you know, basically for uh, Memorial Day, which is coming up, but also because the paper is fabulous. So I wanted to show you this to you because if you were gonna do uh, something patriotic, you need to check out this paper. There's that. I mean, that's just pretty by itself. And I love this. Especially if you like baseball. There's the back of that. I'll have to link up above here. <laughs> um, what I made with this, if I remember to do that. The Voice of Liberty. There's the other side of that. I think this collection came out last year it may even have been two years ago time flies uh but it's a great collection and i want to use it to make some kind of journal at least one um and then the last thing i wanted to tell you is that uh i did put down on here different places that i'm going to travel so this year i'll be in uh, this month um, I'm, I'll be in Kentucky, Pennsylvania, Cape Cod for a couple of days, then Vermont for a little bit. And if you want to follow me, um, go to on Instagram at getten, G-E-T-T-N underscore T-H-E-R-E. That's my travel channel. I haven't shared it before just because it it isn't anything special, but if you guys want to know where I am, at least it tells you the neck of the woods I'm in. Go ahead and check that out. And, you know, if you see that I'm in Kentucky and you know some great places to go hike or go 
see something cool, just put it down there. And um, Or if you're in that state, states are big. Unless you're in Rhode Island, I, I haven't yet been close to anybody that says, hey, I'm in Colorado. You anywhere close to me? No, it hasn't worked out yet, but it may, it may. So that's what I have for today. Don't forget to check out all of the other collaborators to see how they set their goals to bust through their stash or whatever their goals are. It's important to set your goals um, and it's crafty stuff. So even if I don't exactly make my goals, then, um, you know, then I'm, it's something to work towards. A, a plan without a goal is just a wish, something like that. Oh, and the last thing I guess I wanted to tell you is I've been keeping track of how many paper pads I used. So I did use up seven and I got in three. Well, I guess four. I got in four, used seven. So I was three paper pads ahead for April. Let's see if I can keep that up for May. I really want to bust through a bunch of them. So that's what I have for today. Thank you so much for watching and have a fabulous day.